As the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise, some local teachers are planning to participate in a mock funeral procession to bring attention to their concerns about starting school safely. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked to the organizer as they are demanding state leaders do more to help school districts during this time. While students in Metro schools will start the school year with virtual learning, other districts in Tennessee are not. There's no reason to put people in, in, in this kind of danger. The president of the Metropolitan no, Nashville Education me. Association thinks the state needs to require communities to do online school until there's been no new COVID-19 cases for 14 days. We really feel like there's just not enough being done to protect people right now. She says one of her elderly teacher friends is scared to go back to school. And that teacher's going back in a district where there really aren't any protections at all. And it's 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 terrifying. Amanda Kell says the MNEA is holding a die-in vigil and funeral procession and hopes that lawmakers will help districts get more funding to buy personal protective equipment. But that part must be met. Because if it's not, we are going to see educators and students and their families fall ill, be hospitalized and probably die. Amanda fears there will be COVID-19 outbreaks at several Tennessee schools. How does a paraprofessional in a special education classroom with pre-K, how do they social distance? How do we keep um, students with autism, how do we make sure they're wearing masks? Teachers want to make their views and concerns known before it's too late. If the infection rates are going up, then it is not safe to send people back to school. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. The event is set for tomorrow at the Nashville Farmers Market at 5 in the evening, and we will post additional details on what they are asking for on our website at newschannel5.com.